always comes down on this strategy to tracing down the passion zero. So I think in cybersecurity, we face usually the same problem as well. Right. I think, you know, let me take uh, perhaps an analogy with the current uh, coronavirus, right? I think that's a good um, good example. Right now we are, we are hearing from a lot of cities, from a lot of countries that they are trying to lock down the cities, like what happened in Wuhan, right? Um, and isolate everybody, but still we see the, 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 the spread of the virus across the globe. So I think it's really important to be able to control certain infected environments, mm -hmm. right, or, or risk environments. But on the other hand, how do we really trace down the patient zero and the path basically which this infection took? So we have to understand in this human world the behavior of the individuals with whom did he interact with them in the last few days. What has he done basically in a, in a different country? And understand this flow of the virus in order to cope with the virus, right? It always comes down on this strategy to tracing down the passion zero. So I think in cybersecurity, we face usually the same problem as well. When, you know, when we've been breached as a company and we want to understand what really happened to the company, was there any data being exfiltrated? Are there any backdoors being implemented? We have always only one chance to answer this question. We have to find the passion zero. Mm -hmm. And to do that, we have to be very identity and data driven um, in, in the sense that we have to have the approaches to trace it down and to, to identify that.